Hello again everybody, this is Mr. Everything and I'm coming at you with another Wargaming in Miniature video. In this video, we're going to be reviewing and unboxing some Perry Miniatures. We're doing the Desert Rats, right? I got these from Sherwood Wargames. I, actually, I ordered them on eBay. Sherwood has like a store on eBay and I got them in just a couple of days. Okay, so there are 38 figures in here. What I would like to do is find out how many machine guns there are, how many anti-tank rifles there are, how many submachine guns, rifles, if they have any mortars or piots or anything else. I, well, I guess they wouldn't have piots. They'd have anti-tank rifles, Bren guns. I want to find out exactly how many of each of those are in the box. Uh, and... I opened this box once, kind of glanced at the figures, and then put them back, knowing that I was going to be doing this video for you guys, so I didn't really scrutinize them. I was just kind of just making sure that, you know, that everything was there. All right, so let's go ahead and pull the models out. And, uh, well, before we do that, let's take a look at the box. You know, I got a lot of Perry models. Most of my Perry models are metals. Uh, looks hopefully these guys are going to go together pretty easily. Uh, nickname originally for the Seventh Armored Division, the Desert Rats, uh, but it's a term to include all of those from the Desert Army. You know, with their shorts, the knickerbockers. Uh, there's helmet options for the Long Range Desert Group (SAS). Uh, that's Special Air Service. Uh, there's also, um, this box will allow you to build a platoon of three sections with platoon support, including Bren guns, two-inch mortar, and boys' anti-tank rifle. Okay, so you do get the, miniature in the miniatures in there. There's bases, unit organization. Okay, let's go ahead and pop this open take a look. Okay, well, that's crammed in there. Okay, you get this platoon organization sheet. And then, is it, it feels like it might be two pages, but it's not. It's just front and back. Okay, so this is going to tell us what the sprues have uh, and what's on them. Okay, great. I can figure that out by looking at it. That's what we'll do. And this basically says you've got three sections. Now, a section is going to be technically a, like what we would call a squad. Um, plus, each section would be like a fire team, and they have a five-man fire team. So you're looking at a ten-man squad. Looking at a Bren gun per squad with his, with his assistant, Bren number two. And then you have the corporal, which has the the NCO, which is the submachine gunner. Okay, that's really cool. So there's three 10 man squads with a submachine gun and a machine gun. And then the command section looks like it's got an anti tank rifle, a runner, a sergeant, a lieutenant, radio, mortar one and two. That's cool. So this is like a full platoon. You don't see a whole lot of that. You see a lot of boxes that'll just come with like 30 guys and then you got to get your command sections separately. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the models themselves. Do you want to point out that you do get a few bases with these? Uh, now, these bases are 20 millimeter bases, and because I'm going to be playing bolt action with these or mounting these to be played with bolt action, I'm not going to use the 20 millimeter bases, I'm going to use a full 25 or the inch bases. Oh, how many of these do you get? Four times eight. 
So you get more than enough. Well, you get 32, right? And then you get these giant bases. I guess for the mortars. But there's only one mortar. I'm not sure how that's going to work. So we'll figure it out. And these giant bases are... These are 40 by 40s. All right, let's organize these sprues a little bit so we can kind of see because these two sprues look like they're exactly the same. So it looks like you get two radio men. Pamphlet only shows one radio man. So if you want to get, make two radio men, you can. Okay, let me take a look. Yep, these three sprues look identical. All right, let's get into it. Three of these sprues. Let me set, that off, set one off. And then there's two of these sprues. So let me set one of those off. And just set the rest over here out of the way. Okay, now just as at a casual glance without zooming in for the audience. Let's take a look. We get two guys here. One guy looks like he's got a radio headset on and a radio there. And you can got three different types of helmets here. We're looking at like a fishnet, officer's cap, and a doughboy. Pistol, rifle, submachine gun. This looks like a radio hand set. And the cable would go back to the radio. And then there's just like a generic left hand. Okay. That's right, right, right. But there's only one left hand. And there's two guys. <laughs> okay, maybe that's why there's, they say there's only one radio man. But if I can find another left hand in there, I can just slap it on one of these guys. Just make him a dude. My dude. Okay, set that off to the side. Now, we'll, I mean, we'll get a close-up look of all these. Okay, so you're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 guys on this one sprue times three sprues is 36. Yeah, 37, 38. So they would just count one of these guys because I would get 39 if I did three times 12 plus four, right? 36 plus four. I should have 40 dudes. But that's only if I got an another left. Yeah, 40 guys. That's pretty good. Okay, let's see what we got on this sprue. And let's see how clean it is, because it might or might not be clean. That's Piot. That's Piot ammo, isn't it? Okay, let me just, let me, I'm just counting arms. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, with an extra arm. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, so you're gonna have enough arms to get all forty guys equipped with arms and weapons. Okay. You're gonna have like a bunch of guys, three, laying down kinda of like that. So that's for the light mortar. But I would assume if there's a mortar on this sprue, which I think I saw a mortar. Yeah, there's a light mortar right there. Hell, I could have three light mortar teams. Nice. I don't know how many I can have in my army. I'll have to take a look for that. But we got the I'll have three anti-tank rifles. I've got two types of Bren guns. We got one in motion. Uh, what do they call that? Uh, 
transitioning and then one firing. Uh, there's a little bipod for it right there. That's pretty nice. And I guess these are all end fields. Um, I notice they're using a lot of Thompsons. I don't see any grease guns or M3s or Sten guns. I don't see any Sten guns either. I see Thompsons. I got one, two. I got two Thompsons. Yeah, so there's those are gonna have to get spread around. There's these bayonet knives, there's uh, pickaxes and shovels. Maybe that's mortar ammo. Maybe that's a universal ammo carrier. It's not just Piat that were more. It's probably mortar and Piat or whatever. Because that mortar shell is kind of small. Yeah, we got some bayonets not in their sheath. So if you wanted to just glue them to the bottom of the rifles, you could. And then there's bayonets inside the sheath. Three out, three in. Okay, really, really cool. Okay, and then the hats. Uh, we got some fishnets, some doughboy, some SAS. Doughboys, doughboy, fishnet. There's a head with one in it already. But most of these guys are bald, ready for you to just to plop it, the type of helmet on that you want. That's kind of a cool idea. S separate helmets. So if I wanted to, I could take some of these helmets and just glue them on to like Jeeps or tanks or stuff like that just to kind of give it a little extra. Okay, let's get some close-ups on this. Oh, wait, what do we got here? I got some soft, soft caps and beards. I would think those would be like their guides or allies because they wouldn't be... All right, I checked on those. They, those are part of the SAS. They're Arab headdresses. Um, what they mentioned is if you want to make an SAS section, you'll have to snip these heads off and glue these heads on. Uh, and then you can make like an SAS section. That's really cool. Okay, let me adjust the focus and we'll zoom in real quick. All right, guys, so my tripod always gets in the way when I try to bring these models up close to the camera. So just bear with me. We've got, we'll be, you'll be able to see pretty good. Uh, if I have to turn it sideways to get a better view, then that's what I'll do. All right, let's take a look at starting at the top left trooper. We're just really, we're looking at details. Looks pretty good, these models. They got those big ammo pouches. He's got his uh, bayonet already attached. Don't need to t attach a separate one. We got a kneeler. We got a guy laying down. He can either be working the uh, 20 or he could, or the two, the two inch mortar or he could be just a guy with a rifle on the ground uh, this is a guy laying prone whoops yeah that's a guy laying prone right here I'm gonna flip it so you can see how it's got a flat bottom there uh, we also have a couple of weapons that are loose like well, maybe not a couple maybe that's the only one Yep, that's the only one. A loose rifle that you could use uh, to add on to somebody. Uh, okay, moving on. Let's take a look. We've got pickaxes. See, there's the bayonets that you can glue on to guys that don't have them if you want. Uh, different firing positions, the carry position. You know, it looks like he's got a low carry. Looks like he's got the uh, Thompson rifles, extra arms, a Bren in the carry configuration. Hey, someone pointing with his left hand. I like it. 
Sling arms. Well, where am I at? Okay, sling arms. Okay, working down to the third section. Shovels, and the pamphlet says glue, just glue it onto their back, onto their webbing. Uh, the an the boys' anti tank rifle. With its, I guess you could give. Hmm. Hmm. Because I think the boys. Oh, that's the bipod. Yeah, there's no tripod. There's a little. There's a little pod right there, that props it up where the, where the Bren gun, has this little tripod. This little bipod right there. Rolled up sleeves. Looks good. Rifles. Perry did a pretty good job making these. Uh, now when we go to assemble them, we'll, we'll actually see. Okay, now let's look at this other row of six guys, starting with this guy. It looks like he's got goggles or something. Face mask. Might be part of the Rat Patrol. He's got a scarf. Very nice. He's kneeling on both knees. And then he's got another scarf. But you can, oh my, that might be just a little bit too close. Okay, and then you can see these helmets. You got extra ammo pouches too if you want to pop them on there. Another one there. A couple of ammo pouches in there too. Okay, so just looking at these models, they look like they're going to be fairly easy to put together. They're basically just going to be arms, boom, boom, helmet, boom, and you're pretty much done. And, and then accessories if you want to add them. So I'm excited about putting these guys together. Should be easy and speedy and I'm gonna do everything in my power to make two guys instead of just one out of these sprues okay so he's missing a leg which is right there he's got his radio things so with two of these sprues I have to make two radio men technically that's what I'm seeing here sling arms rifle Oh, that Thompson's got the forward grip. Okay, that's because the other one. The other one does, and he's holding it. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like the forward grip Thompson's. And then that's a hat. You know? Helmet. And then helmet with the fishnet. Camouflage netting. And we even have a guy with a pistol, so if you want to make like an officer with only a pistol, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, this guy's got a big bag on his butt. I didn't really look at the backs of these guys, sorry. Let's take a look at the backs. Canteens on everybody, that's good. Bayonets on some of them. It's pretty sturdy. I'm not sure what that is. That, I'm going to have to look into that. Is that supposed to be a mortar round? Or is that supposed to... Yeah, I'm going to have to look into that. That might be a mortar round. Alright, well, I appreciate you coming out and checking out these Perry models. And, uh... I'll see you next time.